how is it going on guys today we'll be creating another title animation so let's get started open up your hit film express and from the template i'll choose 1080p at 60 frames per second or free to choose any other template and then click on start compositing and once it opens up click on this cog icon to open up the composite shot properties i'm going to change the duration make it three seconds long and also my workspace is set to compositing click on this icon and from this list select compositing also uncheck the tremor option to hide the tremor window let's create a background for our animation click on new layer then click on plane i'm just going to rename this to bg as this will be our background i'm going to give it a black color then click on ok and in the effects tab search for 1080p title safe guide effect and apply it on your background there let's create a new plane layer name this a rectangle i'm going to give it a different color click on ok i'm just going to go inside that layer and uh, change the scale so first of all let's just break the link by clicking on this icon I'm going to decrease the height to about uh, like let's do a nine percent and i'm going to decrease the width as well to around 20 or 21 and also uh, right now our anchor point is in the middle this crosshair thing is your anchor point i want my anchor point to be right over here touching this line right here so i'm just going to increase the anchor point value and make it like uh, 540 ish and as you may have noticed once when you start to change the anchor point value the position also changes so we need to reposition it so i'm just going to type in 50 or or let's do 48 that uh, looks fine now we can just animate it move your player to the two second duration create a scale keyframe there and move your player to the first frame of your video change the scale from 9 to 0 and you'll have this sort of animation select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier go to value graph and just select this handle and drag it to the left like so and you'll have this nice animation going on and if you are not satisfied with the speed if you want it up to be a more a bit more fast you can always select your second keyframe and drag it in and now your animation will be a bit fast i'm just going to keep it at two second duration now I want my animation to be a bit more smoother again i'm going to duplicate this layer right click on it click on duplicate or you can just press ctrl d on your keyboard i'm just going to rename this to line i'm going to go to effects tab and search for fill color effect I'm going to apply it on the line layer go inside the fill color and change the blend to 100 percent and we need to make a few changes on this layer so first of all we will change the anchor point value right now our anchor point is at the top i want it to be in at the bottom so i'm just going to simply uh, add a negative sign or the minus sign before that number and now you can see your anchor point is at the bottom also change the position again in the position just add a negative sign before that number you can see that it is all in the middle all right and now we need to change the width of this as well so all right now our width is at 20 percent i'm going to change it to two percent and do the same thing with on my first keyframe make it two i'll add this sort of animation and let's just position it as well it's going to position it to the left side of this green shape like that now let's see our overall animation yeah so far so good let's create a new text layer i'm going to set the width to 1920 and height to 1080 click on ok select your text tool it's going to type in my text Control A to select your text go to the text tab and choose any font you like let's just increase the font size and align it in the center let's click on this icon that says center alignment I'm going to put this text uh, let's go inside the text layer go inside transform i want to position it on top of the screen shape and as you can see the our text is too big so i'm just going to reduce the font size to about 85 again uh, reposition it in the center and also i'll add some uh, uh, space in between the letters so i'm just going to increase this number to 6.0 all right so we'll animate our text as well so Make sure playhead is at two second duration. Create a position keyframe. Now move your playhead to the first frame of your video and just change the position of this text and bring it down like that. So I'm just going to select these two keyframes, go on it to manual best here, go to value graph. Again, change this handle and just drag it to the left. All right, now uh, let's hide your text layer. 
and in the effects tab search for set matte effect and apply it on your rectangle layer go to the controls tab expand the set matte set the source layer to new text click on this checkbox that says inward and now your text uh, will be all hollow you can just see your background and your text so i just quickly show you an example if you can just import an image as a background and as you can see that your background is visible through the text and you can always uh, if you want to change the color at later point you can do that go to, right click on your rectangle layer go to properties and here you can just change the color so yeah and that's it guys that's how you create the that's how you can create this uh, kind of title animation in hit film express i hope uh, this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you did please do consider liking this video and also subscribing to this channel and uh, i'll see you in the next video guys peace